In my opinion, automation should be one of the most valuable investments an industrial company can make. Unfortunately, over the years, that has not always proven to be the case. Very often, automation systems are put in that just don't offer all the value that they should be offering. Now, historically, we've had two different types of projects that we've invested in around automation. One is Greenfield, that is projects in brand new sites, brand new plants, and really the value of automation in those sites is binary. You need the automation to get the plant running. And then there's Brownfield. Those are plants that already have, that are up and running, that already have automation in place. And the automation that we're putting in is intended to improve the performance of those plants. Very often, the automation doesn't improve the performance of those plants. When I joined industry in the 1970s, it was a very solution-oriented industry. Engineers got together and we solved industrial problems. The automation was just a platform for the delivery of those solutions, and most of those solutions were control solutions. And it was a great time, it was a nice time, but when the digital computer was introduced as the platform for automation, our focus changed from solving uh, industrial problems to the technology. We get all excited about the technology every time something new came out, whether it was expert systems, computer integrated manufacturing, or today, the Internet of Things, or cloud computing, or big data analytics. We get all excited about the technology and forgot that part of the reason, or the entire reason that technology was being applied to industry was to improve industrial problems, to improve the performance of industrial plants. When a new project is defined, it's defined for, in a brown se uh, field sense, for a plant. And when it's defined, it's defined based on the plant getting together and saying, I need to replace this piece of equipment or this automation system. And they literally define the exact system that's already in place, and they send it in for capital approval. If they get capital approval, it's an approval of the exact system that's already in place. So they end up replacing old technology with new technology doing exactly the same thing. Typically, when you replace old technology with new technology doing the same thing, you don't get value. And too many of our projects are done this way. The project teams and industrial operations represent some of the most significant talent we have, the best talent we have in industry, and yet we measure the project teams around on-time, on-budget delivery of the project as compared to the value that the project will generate. If you're taking your best talent and you're measuring them in a way that they're not creating value, you're not going to get the value from them. A lot of engineers believe that the existing cost accounting systems will tell you how much value that the automation projects create, but they don't. They don't have the time resolution. They don't even have the space resolution that allows you to do that. What we need is new real-time performance measures that will measure from a financial perspective right down to the plant floor so that when we do something, when we put advanced controls in, when we upgrade an automation system, whatever it is we do, we know exactly how much money it drove to the bottom line of that industrial plant. If we do that, then we have value. Then we can see what the value is. To change the way industry is doing things, we have to actually reverse the order. The first thing we have to do is start measuring the value of those things we're doing. And when industrial manages, when the executive team starts realizing the true potential of how much economic value automation technology can drive to their bottom line, then they'll start investing. Then we can topple the other three barriers. So it's a reversed approach. So in a nutshell, automation systems offer great value. Today, we're not getting that value the way we should be. Some things have to change, and we'll be talking about what those things are in future videos. Thank you very much.